ugly bitch. Damn! If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGAG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang your man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. Dr. Boxing Talk, man. Today we have an, a mini announcement, right? You know, have a little mini announcement coming up, coming from Andre Ward. You know, he's been busy lately, you know, especially considering that, um, you know, Terrence Crawford, uh, who's his buddy, his partner, his pal. We're brothers. We're happy and we're singing and we're colored. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, they 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 just had some sparring footage released. You know, while 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 Terence Crawford is uh, in preparation for his fight at the junior middleweight division. You know, he's making his junior middleweight debut against Israel Majumov, who's a champion. So he has to go hard. Um, in preparation for that, you know what I'm saying? And Andre Ward's been helping with him, helping him with that. You know, so we saw him sparring and, you know, so he's been in the, he's been in the media a little bit lately. You know, they're like, you know, you know, especially him being a California native, you know, Oakland in particular, you know, and, um, and Terrence Crawford and, and Israel Majumov, you know, that, that card put on by, uh, by, Big Turkey Alice Sheik, you know what I'm saying? The Riyadh season bring going down to LA. A lot of people are speculating. Oh, well, hold on now. Is Andre Ward coming back? Is he is he coming out of retirement? You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are thinking, you know, because I do think this way, man. Andre Ward, I had the pleasure of meeting him. You know, I had an autograph with him and Terrence Crawford actually on the same Las Vegas trip. I met them both. I believe I met them both in MGM. Um, yeah, on the same weekend. I can't remember what fight it was. I want to say it was a Tim Bradley Pacquiao joint. Um, the second one, I believe. But yeah, man, he's a very cool dude, man. You know, I also thought he was very a very underrated fighter, you know, definitely one of the goats is just, you know, activity kind of killed him or lack of activity, you know what I'm saying, inactivity due to the circumstances that weren't entirely his own, you know, and, um, you know, it wasn't entirely his own, but it is what it is, you know, so I think a lot of people kind of overlook him when it comes to being one of the goats of this generation, but he don't get it twisted, man, that dude was a monster in the ring, retired, undefeated, and he kind of, and he went out on top, man, which which we like to applaud, you know, I like to applaud that, me personally, you know, and but people said, hey, man, he had a lot left in the tank, he could have fought Canelo, you know, he tried to fight Triple G, hey, well, how would he fare against better be ever Bivol, you know, so a lot of people are speculating, like, hey, he might try to come back, you know, on a Saudi Arabia card, you know, with Big Turk and maybe get the uh, better be able to be all uh, winner, you know what I'm saying? When that fight actually comes into fruition, you know, whenever that happens, right? Um, with all the postponements and injuries with that. But I, I don't, I'm going to tell you what I think, man. I don't think he's coming out of retirement. Um, you know, he, he, he said that he has, he, he, he lends something off on uh, in two days, right? On the 22nd of July. I personally believe, while I would love to see him come out of retirement, um, I personally just think that he's probably going to be on a podcast, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know, you would think he said he wants all the smoke. So he's like, oh, wait, but Doc, he's already been on the All the Smoke all the smoke podcast before, which is true. He has already been uh, a guest, made a guest appearance on the All the Smoke podcast with um, with um, Stephen Jackson and Matt Barnes. However, maybe he's going to take on a role, a, a permanent role. Maybe he's going to be a host, you know what I'm saying? Having all the smoke, you know, kind of these are all details of speculation, right? Or maybe he's starting his own podcast or or. Or maybe he's doing something else in the media, which is what I think is closer to the truth. I don't think he's going to come back out of retirement. But, hey, I would love to see it, too, man. You never know. Maybe he's going to pull up a, be at, be, pull up as a trainer. You never know, man. So we'll see, man. I think I think this just means that he has all the smoke and let off his opinions in the podcast host role. That's what, my, that's what I think. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. I don't think he's going to come back in uh, 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 to boxing as a combatant. But I would love to see it, though, man. I think he can really beat a lot of people still. Now, you know, he is 40 years old. I don't know how feasible it is. Um, um, to seriously believe that he could be better be ever bivol, but hell, better be as 40 as well. Damn! I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like there's a large age gap there, but you know, with inactivity and people age differently and plus injuries for better be ever and then, and then Andre Ward having more fights. So there's, there's pros and cons of both, but he's not, he's definitely not too old. It's just... When a goat wants to do something, you know what I'm saying? Then they could accomplish whatever they want to do, man. Dare to be great. So we'll see what it is. But yeah, I just think he's coming back in the capacity of a of a podcast host or something like that. But y'all let me know what y'all think about that in the comments, man. Appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We are nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.